it going everybody? Today I wanted to make a short video on what I feed my chickens. Everything that I use will be linked in the description below. They are affiliate links, so anything you might purchase, the company that sells these products will give the Green Acre a kickback, which would be awesome. So first up in our cocktail is the base layer feed. This is a nature's best organic feed. I try to use as much USDA organic products as possible in anything we do here on the Green Acre. I believe in organics and uh, the more we support them, the more the price of organic products will come down. It's better for us, it's better for the environment, it's better all around. So after I put a couple of uh, little plastic scoopfuls in their feeder of the layer feed, I like to use Mana Pro crushed oyster shell uh, to provide extra calcium in their diet to thicken up their shells. We've had some issues in the past where their shells are just not not as strong as they should be. I'll put them in my pockets and they'll break in my pockets and create a mess and uh, nobody wants that. After the crushed oyster shell I like to use Mana Pro uh, grit. As many of you know chickens don't have teeth they have a gizzard that they fill with grit and the grit acts as their teeth to break down their food. Now if you're just using a layer feed adding grit to their diet is not necessary. There's there's grit in their layer feed, but I like to feed my chickens a lot of yard scraps, kitchen waste, uh, fruits from the trees, etc, etc. So having this gr extra grit in their diet helps them break down all that stuff that I feed them. Now the next ingredient is unnecessary, but I like to put a, uh, a cup full of scratch grains in their food as well. So this is a uh, producer's pride scratch grain mix. The next product, which I'm sure you're very familiar with, uh, is Grub Terra. I'll take a scoop full of these black soldier fly larva grubs. The chickens love these things. They will consume all of their feed just to get to these things, which is why I put them on toward the end. This next one might be a little unnecessary as well, but I like to include it anyway because it's a, it's a product that we get. It's a byproduct of chicken eggs. So this is actually their shells. Um, after we crack open an egg, I'll collect the shells and I throw them in our oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes to kill any bacteria, uh, to cook that egg residue that's still on the egg, uh, and then it stores better that way. I'll just crush it up so it doesn't resemble an egg anymore. I don't want them getting the idea that, hey, when we lay an egg, we can crack it uh, and consume it. So let's add just a small layer of shell into their food. Now the reason I'm putting shell back in their food is because they will consume their shell, which is loaded with calcium, and repurpose it back into another shell for a future egg. You can also add uh, chicken egg shells to your garden, whether you put it in your compost or you uh, add it directly to the garden bed. Plants such as tomatoes really benefit from having, having added calcium in the soil. It'll uh, prevent blossom end rot. Don't expect results the first season though. This is gonna take a while to break down in the soil. I'd say put it in your garden now, Next year it might be broken down enough where you'll see benefits from it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Now, the next ingredient, which might be why you're watching this video, marigold petals. Many of you probably have marigolds in your garden because they're beautiful, they're easy to grow, they're a great pest repellent. And I collect the seeds from my marigolds so I can sow them again next year. I'm a big advocate for collecting seed, whether it's from flowers or vegetables, fruits, anything. You don't want to find yourself in a position where you don't have any seed and you have to go buy it. And as we've all been noticing with the pandemic, resources have been quite slim these days. So seeds are selling out quickly. There's not as many seeds on the market. Part of being sustainable is being able to care for yourself and not have to rely too much on others. Now I'm not saying that you don't want to rely on others. I don't agree with that. Community is so important. It's good to rely on others for certain things, but you also want to be able to make sure that you can take care of yourself. So I save my seeds. So after the flowers on the marigolds go wilty, I will pluck the heads off, deadhead it, and new, new flowers will grow on the plant that way. I'll take the flowers inside and open them up, pull the seeds out, and I separate the actual petals from the seeds and I air dry them for about 24 hours and then I package them up to use again next year. So feeding these petals to your chickens will actually make their egg yolks a rich, vibrant, golden color. And it also, depending on the, uh, the breed of the chicken, if they have uh, yellow feet and beaks, for instance, will become a much more vibrant color 
It's just beautiful. We've got them here on the Green Acre. They're free. Why not add them to their feed? Marigold is actually an antioxidant and will help de detoxify their bodies as well. Much like mint and lavender, you can also add marigolds to your chicken's bedding in the coop. The odor of marigolds will help prevent pests and insects from, from taking up residence with your chickens in their coop. Now it's a common misconception that darker egg yolks are more nutritious. That's not actually the case, uh, as research done by the United States Department of Agriculture has shown. The nutritional value is the same, it's just that the color tones in the feed that they're taking in can, can affect the color of their egg yolks. Now some people, including myself, believe that darker egg yolks are more flavorful. I tend to find store-bought eggs that are really uh, like a vibrant yellow as opposed to a darker orange color. They're just kind of lacking some flavor. There's something missing. The eggs provided by our chickens, which are uh, rich in color, they just have more flavor to them. I don't know. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're any more nutritious. Although I know they are, just not directly because of the marigolds. Uh, petals. I know they're more nutritious eggs because I know what I'm feeding my chickens as opposed to what corporate America is feeding their chickens and selling the eggs at the stores. A bunch of garbage. Okay, so now that I have all my cocktail ingredients added, I'm just going to top it off with some more layer feed. Again, this is just what I feed my girls. Um, there's plenty of other things out there that you can feed. Uh, garlic, cinnamon, uh, yeah, ground uh, like chili peppers. All great additives for your chicken's feed. They have different health benefits, different purposes. Nothing against that. That's just, this is just what I'm, what I'm doing at this moment. My, my procedures could change. All right, let's take this in by the ladies. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, maybe learned something new. And if you have chickens yourself, give marigold petals a try. See if it affects your eggs. Just kidding, I'm not going to do that. Take care, everybody, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.